Hey, hey, hey everyone, Dankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the Hawk H75A2. This is a currently rank 1 battle rating 2.7 premium fighter aircraft in the German air tech tree and is currently only available through the marketplace, which it currently sits at around $60 GJN, so a pretty expensive vehicle for only a rank 1, but that also means that this is a fairly rare vehicle, and if you guys want, I'll try to make a rare vehicles playlist so if you guys want to check out pretty much all the rare vehicles I've ever played and made a gameplay for or even a review if I have any definitely be sure to check out that playlist now that being said this is pretty much a p36 hawk I believe it's like a p36c if I'm not mistaken so the French had a bunch of h75 a2 or a1 hawks made and then they wanted a uh, the a2 variant which would have had more MGs and also a better engine, but uh, very few were, I think, were actually ever delivered before the war started with Germany, as in before Germany started to invade France. Now, that being said, this has six LMGs. These LMGs are absolutely booty chatter, but typically, whenever you get them, you only have four. So maybe the additional two will make a little bit of a difference, plus the fact that you have two mounted up here as well as four in the wing. So who knows? That might make some level of difference, but I'm not expecting much otherwise this is pretty much just a really cool vehicle in my opinion and it has the finnish operator country as well so even though this was made for the french i guess some of them got exported to finland as well which is what we see here so that being said let's get into a few matches see what we could do but i'm pretty stoked because this is an uber rare aircraft and uh just not something you really see or hear a lot about that said, let's get into it. Okay, we've got ourselves a lag. Ooh, a uh, Japanese plane right here. That is going to be a big deal because even though that is a float plane, he can still easily outturn me. So let's go ahead and try to get this guy. I think I may have accidentally hit my buddy. Now, I have all tracers, which means that these are all incendiary rounds. But they are obviously not setting this plane on fire. Even though that is a Japanese plane and they catch on fire very easily. At least they're supposed to catch on fire very easily. Now, I've got a Yak-1 behind me. Uh, I'm a bit worried about that. But I'm going to keep jumping down for this Spitfire. Okay, Yak-1 is off my tail. Um, if I can damage a Spitfire, it'll be nice. Uh, then I might go for the DB-7. Now, if you notice also, my engine is way overheating. Which is going to happen quite a bit, unfortunately, with this aircraft. Um, it just has really bad cooling capabilities. Hopefully this guy is damaged enough where he won't be too much of a threat. I should be able to damage him quite a bit here. Okay, good, good, good. And again, this thing does minimal damage. By this thing, I mean the Hawk. Um, we do have this plane right here. going to damage him a bit. Perfect. Now we are starting to get a whole bunch more enemies coming down. Going for... Okay, good. The Spitfire is gone. I think I critted the RE-2002, and we also have some sort of a bomber coming this way, but I'm not 100% on that bomber. But we do have some enemies pretty close behind. Uh, but thus far, actually, not doing too poorly, considering how uh, mediocre, in my opinion, these MGs are. But also, again... These, the engine on this is just not very good. So, got some nice hits on his wing. The more I can do to really hinder that uh, mobility, the better. Got some more damage, although it looks like it was pretty minor. My engine is really starting to overheat now. Um, hmm. Yak might be a big problem coming up. Just gonna spray him down a little bit. I should be able to catch him because I think he probably has some engine damage. Or at least some aerodynamic damage, which means he should be moving slower regardless. Got a few hits, but this is another thing. Like, if those were HMG... Of course, this guy had to take the kill. If these were HMG shots, you would see, like, with each one of them, damage, you know, or hit, hit, critically hit. This just doesn't do it. These are very weak rounds. Very, very weak. So we have a Yak-1 over here. Looks like our team is pretty much dominating... Um, you know, I'm lucky enough to be able to get two kills with this thing. It's not very bad in terms of performance, but the cannons, of course, could use a bit, uh, or the MGs, rather, could use a bit of improvement. So I'm going to fly back to base. I'm assuming this match is pretty much over for me, but um, 
yeah, I mean, if it's not, we'll see me hopefully engaging and taking out more enemies. If so, if this match is over, we'll jump into the next one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, not bad flying, but there's not really all too much to write home about. It's just the armament is what holds this thing back even more than the poor cooling on the engine. So I decided what might be the best option here is to change the belts on this from tracers to universal. The reason being is because tracers only have three millimeters of armor pen, which is negligible, and I was kind of suspecting that they were more or less kind of like hitting the wings, and especially if you're behind them, they would just be hitting the wings and not really hitting anything necessarily important in the plane. And meanwhile, these... Ooh, I, I waited way too damn long. Meanwhile, the uh, ones I have now have armor piercers they do have incendiaries but uh they also have one part tracer so in theory they should be a little bit better and i think i should be able to get some pilot snipes with these not many albeit but a few maybe we'll see uh, plus he okay he survived and uh got the assist so not a big deal like i don't support like if you had nothing to do with that kill then you should not have anything to do with it, right? Like, you shouldn't be going for it, especially if that person's about to die. But if you had a crit on him, okay, that gives you a little bit of leeway. So that said, we have a P40F down here. Thus far, I've got two assists. Not too bad. You know, we'll have to wait and see if this new belt pans out. I mean, belts in air battles, especially at low tier, mean so damn much to the plane. And this... Wow... This guy's about to get whooped. Um, this is definitely a plane that, you know, either it relies on specific belts or it's just never going to be all that good. Again, good maneuverability, good performance, but nothing really else going on for it. Okay, so we have two P-39s down here uh, engaged with this BF-109. That's where I feel like I can probably, hopefully, shine a little bit here. Because if they are chasing him, then I should be able to get behind and at least do some level of damage to them. Especially if this is a relatively competent uh, BF-109 player. But, of course, if I'm going to open myself up to shots like that, it's not going to be a good thing. But I still have the maneuverability advantage. Didn't really do much damage to him, but of course, at least... Ooh, this guy might also have the rocket pods underneath, which are probably killing his maneuverability, and he's down. So let's go ahead and get to this other P-39. Hopefully I can get some part of them. Um, I'm not really suspecting that these belts are necessarily helping out all too much, if at all. Uh, they just seem to be pretty much the same thing. Now, I think once in a while they may help to get pilot snipes, but that's pretty much it. You know, like, I'm not really expecting all too much from them. So let's go ahead and aim up this fellow who just decided to try to do that to me. Whoa! This guy almost just took me out. So my engine is overheating pretty badly right now. Um, we do have that other plane that's pretty much directly overhead. I'm going to just throttle down a touch. And once he comes down, this guy is critically hit. Once he comes down, I should be able to... Oh, he's not coming down for me. Perfect. Actually, that helps out quite a bit. Put my throttle back up to 100. Using WEP on this plane is not a... Uh, it's not something that you can just do all willy-nilly, unfortunately. Which has become increasingly apparent as I've been moving on with this. I'm going to go for the P-39N right now. He seems to be at the lowest energy plus. He's closest to me. And he may also have the uh, most damage on him. So... Oh, finally, I got the burn. We got a burn going. There we go. I think I got the kill. Perfect. Two kills, two assists. Not sure where that other fella is, uh, but he likely is somewhere around here. Was that the P-40? I'm not entirely sure. And we have a ground kill just to make this a very nice and uh, even sort of match. But yes, we do have that P-40 up there. He seems to be slow. Uh, I really don't have much ammunition left. Probably should not have used on the, uh, you know, on the ground target. But of course I did. But thus far, not doing too poorly. Two kills, two assists. 
Um, I don't really suspect I'll be lasting all too long from here. But again, we'll have to wait and see. We have a Spitfire and an F4U. I'd rather face the F4U because I can outmaneuver him. Uh, but again, we'll have to see. I mean, both of them can lay down the hatred. But I think the F4U is going to be a bit more dangerous in a head-on. Which is, of course, how this is going to start. Didn't get anything. I was hoping for a quick pilot snipe, perhaps. Man, we are engaging real slow here. But that has to do with the fact that I have very little momentum in my favor. This guy is running a bit. He is moving slow. Got a nice hit on him. He's going to be turning for me, I think. We'll have to wait and see. I'm just going to get close to him. I think his engine is pretty much uh, shot, so to speak. Okay, got a flap. Got a crit. And got a kill. Did not get a pilot snipe, however. This P-40 seems to be turning back around for me. Um, I want to go for the DB-7, but that's not going to happen. I am just a little bit too damaged and without ammunition. The only flame that I might be able to get from here is a P-40, so I'm just going to dive down, get a little bit more energy, turn back up, and not get anything. So, let's see if this guy turns around to try to get me. At this point, I am not really going to be uh, worried about any sort of uh, engine damage due to overheating because I am on my last breath, so to speak. So let's go turn up if I can and try to get this guy. Got a hit, but my engine is pretty much out. So I don't really think I'm going to live. By the way, guys, you know, the way I play... Don't do what I just did with that P-40. I'm not saying that that's a valid strategy at all. I actually, I had more than enough space to outrun this guy and get back to base and make it back. But, of course, I am a very aggressive player, one. But also, this is gameplay that I'm recording. So, you know, you want to just take chances when you can, in, in my opinion. And, uh, obviously, that was a very high-risk, low-reward chance that I took there. And I paid for it. So that said, let's get into a uh, final match here. But that wasn't all too bad. Three kills, two assists. Better than I expected would happen. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, again, let's get into one final match. So I've decided, you know what? Because this is a low BR aircraft, as pretty usual in my gameplay, last match shall be a B. And here we are in arcade battles with the Hawk. H75, A2, whatever it is, right? So, none too shibby dibby dabby. Let's start here. That KI-43 is KIA. Okay, <laughs> I was going to dive down on him. Now, one of the things I always preach in any sort of gameplay, at least when it comes to gun battles, if you are going to pick a target, try to go for the one who will be the biggest threat to you, if at all possible, and, you know, assuming that... Uh, you know, it's not going to, to wreck the rest of your battle. So, that's pretty much what I was just trying to do there. I am already damaged by this fella. COVIDzilla. Let's turn around. Got some hits on him. Got the kill. Now we have this CW-21 behind me. Okay, let's dive. Turn up. Because this guy will be my primary focus. Hopefully I can get behind him a bit. Okay, I think he lost me temporarily, which is good. But I need to follow up with a nice, clean hit on this guy to be able to damage his ability to turn in on me. No hit. Okay, we got a hit. Very nice. This is a good battle here. But I am severely damaged, so I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I might just fly back to base. Because this guy is forevermore going to have much 
better energy retention than I have. So, looks like he's broken off a bit. I'm going to go land at base, see what we could do. Um, but, actually, that was pretty damn good. I'll give that guy a whole lot of credit. We have a J-11 behind me. Uh, I still have to fly to base. I'm not going to risk it. My engine is destroyed, pretty much. And, uh, my allies seem to not want to help me, so I'm going to try to shoot this guy down. That way they are convinced to actually be able to turn around and help me a little bit here. Get that J-11 off my tail. But that was one of the better Air AB dogfights I've had in a long time. So, whoever that was, good on you. But let's go ahead and land, get back up in the sky, and uh, restart this Mamma Jamma. I got a little damaged, but uh, was able to kind of come through a bit at the end. Okay, so we are back up in the air, and I've got a B-18 here. Let's see if I can take him out. Not sure. Ooh, he's on fire, but still not dead. So let's just get a few shots. Maybe I can get an assist or a kill. Not entirely sure what's going to happen here, but this is just more or less what you can expect, actually, when firing <laughs> with this thing. Like, I had to use a thousand rounds of ammo, and it wasn't like I was missing much, either. That's how bad this thing is. Oh, man. And I'm still using the universal belts, mind you. So they have a mix of incendiaries, whatever, you know, armor-piercing trait, whatever. So we have the H-81 down here. See if I can hit him a bit. Nope, I cannot. That was close. Got some nice hits on him. That's what matters. Got some more hits on him. I don't really think it does much damage. We have some more hits on him. Let's hope no one comes up behind me. Got some more hits on him. Oh my gosh. There we go. Finally set him on fire. Single engine. Got a bit of damage on that uh, HE-112. Let's turn back up. See if we can take him out. He's exposed now. Got the kill. Very nice. Very fine. We have a BF-109 around here. Let's go ahead and go for him. It's only the A variant, uh, which means it should hopefully be fairly easy prey if he turns a bit. Not sure if he will. So I'm going to reload, turn around, go for those people behind me. Okay, let's do this. We have a BF-2C1. That is a very good plane, by the way. If you are looking for low-level CAS, it actually does the job pretty damn decently but i will likely go for this i-15 instead a little bit of a worry because those are biplanes of course thus they will likely be able to outmaneuver me which is why it's important to damage him substantially at first that way he cannot uh outmaneuver me all too much but it's not going to be too much of a worry because i got him anyways very nice Oh, we have ourselves an I-15 bis turned down. I do have the energy, uh, whatchamacallit. I see him back here, I think, on the map. Yes, I do. And he will be able to outturn me. So what I'm going to do is just move up a bit. I'm not going to be able to actually outflank this guy, outmaneuver him at all. So rather than try to outmaneuver him, I will just go for other enemies. And besides, the match is almost over. At this point, I don't really know how much I actually care. So, we keep on moving, keep on grooving, not getting damaged all too much. Still have this guy, he is pursuing my allies. Didn't get a kill, and rather, I myself have died. So, not too bad, six kills, one assist, and a really good dogfight in there. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe. But either way, thanks again, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.